That cap yep. of bear is in here. All right. I'm here with Rick DeRitter at Emerald Coast Zoo. Rick, how are things going? You guys are doing a little revamping right now, getting things ready for the, the next season. Yeah, huh? we're, we're getting excited, man. We finally passed all our tests. We got our licenses. We uh, USDA says everything looks good. Good. There's a little cap of beer in here that's super fast. We don't want to let him out. But well, we're we're on the way to see your second sloth here at the zoo, right? Yes, Sandy. Is this Sandy, Sandy in the window there. here? Or? There's Sandy chewing on that carrot right there. Or sweet potato, whatever that is. Hey, Sandy. Yeah, we're so That's one of the newest members, and that's Mozzie's girlfriend. Hoping for uh, baby <laughs> sloths. Because yeah. what's cuter than two sloths? A baby sloth, right? <laughs> And uh, you put in a new enclosure up front too, and uh, what, what's going to be in that new enclosure? We had uh, Pounders. You know, there's a restaurant in Crestview here called Pounders. Yeah. And that guy liked what we were doing here for the kids and families, give them something to do. So he sponsored that kangaroo enclosure. It's a big circular oval enclosure around the, uh, right at the front entrance of the zoo. We'll put a couple kangaroos in there, some ostrich and emus. Awesome. So you'll feel like you're walking into Australia with a little bit of Africa with the ostrich. All right, finally, when, when do you uh, plan to open back up for the public? What's the estimated time frame? March 1st is the time frame. We will have everything done by then. And uh, March 1st, come on down. I think that's a Thursday. It'll be a good time. Check this little guy out. This is a uh, capybara. Just a baby still in that little crate. He comes in and out. That is the world's largest rodent. He's just a baby, but he can get up to, two, up to about 150 pounds. Wow. It's like a 150 pound guinea pig. 